in the middle of my breath. Just a couple of good breaths. <sighs> Feel your spine start to relax. Just finding this nice release down in the hammock. Breath is starting to flow for us. And our intention today, um, in addition to everything else we do, we always add, you know, all over the body. But our main focus, the main thing we're going to be working on today is helping the chest to open up. I love to do that, especially when I've had a lot of time at the computer, taking on a really hunched over position. So letting the heart start to open up. And as we're working on the chest, naturally we're working on the heart chakra also. So this is opening up us to the possibilities of love, of greater compassion, of greater uh, connection, greater awareness of ourselves and others. And so those are the things that I'd like us to keep in the back of our mind. Perhaps as we travel through class, your intuition will give you one little heart-centered practice, an idea of something we can do to help the heart, to help our connection, to help our, our love. And so just listen for what that small little thing might be for you as we travel through class today. So that to help get us started, let's take our initial stretches, arms open for back space, shoulders go right and left, and feel how nice it is to get the shoulders to open up your rib cage. It's like we're freeing out left and right parts of the heart. Perhaps another time to each direction. And then as we go back through the center, start to take your right knee into the chest. And then right leg up to the sky, start to stretch that leg out. Here we go to the right heel, over to that back left part, start to slide the shin in. Beautiful hip opener. One more inhale. Nice exhale. Leg up to the sky, give it a little tug. Drop the leg all the way down. Second knee into the chest. Little hug for a moment. And let this one stretch all the way up. One more breath cycle, deep inhale, and then exhale. 
exhale, free out this leg, maybe a little tug, and then drop this one all the way down. Both legs stay resting inside the fabric, and then sit up just enough that the fabric goes to the armpits. So we're not going super far back. Our armpits are free off the back end, and then let your head rest backward and your arms drape down. So with our focus of opening the chest today, this is just a simple start, starting to get the shoulders to drop. In fact, some people may be able to clasp their hands together. They don't have to be all the way straight, but maybe just let gravity flow down on those arms. So the throat opening. Nice inhale. And then exhale, bring the shoulders and the head back in, bring the knees into the chest. This is our nice recovery pose, getting the shoulders to stretch in the other direction. What I'm doing is clasping my arms together or even reaching to each elbow, and then my knees push into the arms. So this gives it a nice active stretch, kind of pulling the arms toward the forward direction or in this case, the upward direction up to the side, helping that part of the shoulder socket to get to stretch. Good. As we start to release, bring the heels back in, straighten the legs back out. This time when we sit up, the fabric goes to kind of like the end of the rib cage. So not super far back. You can start off with Gripping on, put the hand on the back end of the fabric, and then start to spill over backwards. So just a slightly deeper back than before. Nothing super intense. If anybody wants to also release hands down, that's okay. Just a couple more breaths to this one. Rise up, head comes in toward the chest. Start to sit up. Keep the feet in the fabric, but bend the knees. This one we're clasping around the shins. And then once again, letting the shins be pulled forward and the spine rounds backward. This one gets into the shoulder blade area. Make those shoulder blades to be pulled away from one another. I just drop the forehead forward as, it's, as if it's kind of a the And then as we take one more back bend, this is the deepest yet. Legs go back straight. This time we get the fabric all the way to the back sides of the hips. You can absolutely hold on as you start to travel backwards and maybe your arms stay or maybe they drop down at your sides or clasping hands back on to release. It's a nice back bend, almost like a cobra pose, just very Another inhale, and exhale, grab back onto the fabric, head gently up, and then just reach toward those two straight legs. And the whole space at the back, that chest to stretch. And just feel already how open the chest is becoming. Our breath is flowing very nicely through the, the body. That's one of the benefits of working on the chest area is the breath frees its way up. Talking with a chiropractor friend, sometimes the ribs themselves turn in, which blocks off the ability to take that deepest inhale. So we're helping the ribs be loose enough that they can pop back open to their, to their wide position, the one that allows the breath to move. Just enjoy being alive. Another huge breath in. A nice exhale. And then from here, let's start taking the feet free off the front. Up 
let's grip onto the fabric that's off to our left side. The right hand holds on there. And then the left arm is going to start opening up back and forth. So it's going to start off just right in front of your chest. Since we're turning to the left, that means it's pointing off to that left side. And then from there, the left arm starts to open up as far back as that arm can reach. So it should be past your mat. And then return back to that start place. Just open up as wide as it can go. And release back to start. Taking three. And two. And one. From here, that left hand comes around the back side of the head. Hook around the fabric. And now we're making this more about the spine than about the shoulders. So it's like a full twist. In, our, in the twist, I always like to think of inhale as the spine trying to straighten up. Even more tall, you're trying to set up as tall as you can. Like if you're measuring your height from here, you know how we always try to straighten our spine that last moment to keep the bump up taller. That's what we're trying to do. And then the excellent thing is to just spiral the shoulders open. Feel how free the lumbar is. Let that exhale, let's start to release. Bunch of the fabric to the other side. And this time the right arm is going, it's just going straight out in front of the chest. Ready? So the one that goes to the back here. So that right arm starts to open and return. Open, maybe it goes even further this time. Really experiencing it in the shoulder, that nice stretch. And taking three. And two. And one. And with this release, start to circle the arm, arm on the head, grab the fabric. Once again, spine point is super tall. You're trying to hit that, that measuring device really tall up and then spiral up that Another inhale. Okay, so last exhale as we return forward. And then you pick the side to bunch up the fabric on. We're gonna go inside. I recommend going to the side that helps you face me better. So that leg goes up and over. We're not gonna take our legs in right away. Instead from here, we're gonna bunch up our hands onto the fabric in front of us. We're taking almost like a cat-cow motion, but the legs are also gonna lift, so that's gonna help us start engaging the core. So when we do the cat, that's exhale, legs also will try to lift up. And then with the inhale, then we drop down, heart arches just a little bit forward and through. So that's the direction we're going. So exhale, cat, legs rise, use that core. And when you, when you need to inhale, let the heart go forward and through. Follow the speed of your own breath. It might be faster or slower than me. Letting our spine really open as much as it can. Make this more about the spine even than the core. Totally fine if legs are not all the way straight. Let's take three more. And two. And one. Beautiful. Now we can step the heels in, let the legs straighten out. <sighs> and after what we just did, just take a nice break. Bottoms of the feet can come together. <sighs> Meditative seat, this nice pose like an embryo. And take a moment to connect with the deeper heart chakra meanings. 
So which direction does your heart wish to focus on today? Is it focusing on self-love? Is it focusing on connection with others? Is it focusing on compassion? In what direction does your heart need energetic focus? Just listen kind of for that first thought. We don't have to second guess the intuition so much. Just a nice breath to be right there. Legs start to open. Hands on fabric or on the calves. Opening into a nice wide position. Posture trying to be tall. This is that core engagement that helps it lift. Trying to leave the legs at least this wide. Right hand slides down the right leg. Stack the shoulders. Left hand gets to go up and over. This is about the ribs as much as it is about the shoulders, so let that top arm be long. Enjoying that stretch through the muscles. A nice inhale. And exhale, start to rise. Let's switch it out. Slide left hand down. Right hand reaches up and over. And make it about the heart, this very side of the heart opening up. So extend those fingertips long. legs so bunch it up your front shin will come up to the fabric in front of you and remember this is about the heart so naturally the heart kind of just wants to collapse backwards that could be where you stay that is an option but we're bringing consciousness so make sure that's a choice if that's what you're choosing you could also straighten the spine more or hug around the shin trying to lean forward just find the place that's Perfect. Nice inhale. And exhale, bunch it up. This foot gets to go into the fabric. Slide the foot up as much as it wants to go. Again, consciousness through the chest. Can round it. That is a choice, but it's a conscious choice if that's what you're doing. It may be more beneficial to try to straighten the spine. Inhale, 
exhale, set up the foot on the fabric, start to slide it higher. to go free, start to shift the hips forward. As we come here, let's go into our band high here. Okay. Close up. Oh, you're going to the right place. Yep, you're going to the right place. <laughs> yep, so flip the shoulders. Make sure they're completely covering you so that way you don't fall out the back end. But all the excess is welcome to go to the feet. And then you can rise upside down. Good. Feel the release through the shoulders as your body weight is just dropping into that place. Know that any variations you'd like to take are fine. Or you can just hang like this for a while as the body's receiving all the benefits from injury. Let yourself start to work toward laying all the way down with a mini shavasana break. Try to be in a place where the breath is able to easily flow. Sit up, no rush if you need a little bit longer. Chest to rest down on the thighs, letting the back 
rest almost like it, it feels like when you do a child's legs. up and forward. Leaving the fabric here, wind the hands around the head once, twice, and then we grip on. So double wrap, it sets it right around the wrist. Nice, this comfortable, protected place. And then from here, start to lean the hips back. The arms are pulled long, the, the spine essentially is pulled nice and long. Start to circle the hips over to the right. And forward for a nice back bend. Over to the left. And then we come back backwards. Come onto your feet. Wiggle the fingers for a moment. Wrap back on, lean backwards, and reverse the direction of the circle. Again, come onto the feet, hands wiggling out for a moment. And then I'll give you a little bit of free time here. If you like that speed, take a few more cycles to each direction. If you like to go a lot faster, you're welcome to play with that as well. Personal preference, just taking these nice circles as if our hips are traveling around the world. breaks whenever the fingers need them. Maybe one more set, perhaps switching directions, perhaps fast, slow, just play around, whatever that looks like. back onto our feet, let's stretch our hands out. So first, take both hands into a nice stop sign shape in front of us. Fingers spreading really wide away from all of their neighbors. And then focus just on the right hand. Close the fingers up like a stop sign. Take the left hand to help peel all those right fingers backwards, even the right thumb. Release and then right fingers go down, left hand pulls back that way. And as we release, perhaps you start off just with opening and closing the right hand a few times. Maybe starting to roll that right wrist out. Maybe even shake it out. Good. Left hand stop sign. Tilt back all the fingers and the thumb. And fingers downward, hold up that way. As you release, open and close a few times. Maybe start to roll it out. Maybe shake it out. Good. From here, slide the fabric up to about the shoulder blade area. Shoulder blades pop on top of it to lock it in place. And then walk backwards to take all the slack out of the fabric. Feet go back to where they were directly under the bottom. Arms take an inhale, sweeping up to the sky. And then as they start to go down, bend the knees, shoot yourself forward like a plank and hold. So hips are not back. 
hips are not dropping forward. We're in a straight plank position. One more inhale. Exhale, drop low. Inhale, the arms up behind. Feel that freedom in the arms. And then take it again. Sweep the arms down. Forward plank. One more inhale. Exhale, drop low. Sweep the arms up. Feel that freedom. Twice more, so arms down, forward plank, breathe. Inhale, exhale, drop down, arms sweep up. Good. You've got just one more, go forward. This time, as you're here in the plank, perhaps hands find the fabric, grabbing on just above the shoulders. The hips start to drop lower, like a cobra pose. If the knees need to bend to make it less intense, that's okay. Good, drop low through the center. Come all the way back. Sweep the arms up to the sky. And then sweep the arms down, clasping them behind your back, pull away from your back. Head drops over right shoulder. And head rolls up, head jumps over left shoulder. And head comes up. From here, as you release the hands, walk backwards until you're standing up again. And then from here, leave with the left foot at the back of the mat, the right foot lunges toward the front. We're in a lunge shape, meaning the back heel is floating. So that front knee can be bent. Fabric is set up a little bit lower, more like just that middle back. And we start to slide the hands up to lean backwards just a little bit. This will lock it in place at that middle back spot. From here, the back knee is definitely bent. Take the left hand down to pick up the back ankle. And essentially we're setting up for a nice quad stretch with the back. Front leg absolutely can go straight so that way that knee doesn't drop to the ground. Yeah. And then drop those back toes down. Grab on to help us rise up. Now try to shorten the stance until both feet can be planted. Arms open up. Lean forward, pyramid pose. Only if this feels better than where you're at right now, you can lift the front entire foot up. So the toes and ball of the foot lifts up. That makes the stretch be joined much more into the calf. It might be a little bit too much for balance though. So no pressure, you don't have to do that. Okay. That foot was lifted, drop it back down. Standing up, bring the fabric around in front of you. Feet are still the same. Lean forward with the arm support, grabbing on about shoulder distance. Right elbow bends down, lean over to the right. Straighten both arms back forward. And then rotate on the heels. Our whole body's turning for that left long edge. And moving forward. From here, take a cat. And then take a cow. Belly down, take the gaze up. Two more, cat, and cow, cat, and cow. Good, flatten back forward, rotate on the heels to be pointing forward, and then as you bend the front knee, start to slide it back, coming back to the back of the mat, release your grip, Resetting entirely. Fabric back around this kind 
the small of the weights. So switching our feet out this time, right foot to the back, and left foot's gonna slide all the way into that lunge, back heel left in. As we're setting the fabric up at that low back, start to slide hands up, bending the back knee, supporting us in a nice back bend shape. Maybe you're just kind of staying here. Both feet a little bit bent for leaning backwards, or perhaps right hand, we grab onto the right ankle, lifting it up to that quad stretch. Almost like a camel pose, just completely switch directions. Okay. That's okay, that's okay. One more inhale and exhale. Back. Those toes are still at the back of the mat. Gripping on, we're standing up, sliding the feet in until the heels can be all the way flat. Arms open wide for your tee. Start to lean forward, halfway down. If we rise up, the fabric completely comes around in front of us. Grip on shoulder distance for arms and start to lean forward two straight legs. Bending the left elbow down, start to lean over to the left side. Shake out the hands, roll them out, anything that feels helpful for those hands. Um, we're going to start setting up in our straddle back inversion in order to try to take the shin of your pose where we're grabbing the foot behind and the one leg is still wrapped. If straddle back isn't working, you already know it's kind of tight on your low back, you can come to sit and, and, and do more of the di diaper up for variation. So, so feel free to choose which one will work. And then we're getting set up, fabric at the low back. Lean back, tip toe forward so you're not skinny like crazy. Eventually heading into both legs, wrapping to drop down. Give it a couple of breaths here. See if the low back can release. See if you can feel the heart opening. Sometimes I feel myself kind of contracting the core and the whole spine rounds forward a little bit. Kind of like that's my natural place. So let your natural be different now, longer, more open. The breath definitely expanding. And let's start off with the right leg. Right leg straightens. Start to bring that right leg behind you. Bending the knee. Right hand grabs on. Maybe left hand grabs on. You can either go for the quad stretch by continuing to bring the toes closer to the glute. Or you can set up for the back bend, the toes pushing into the hand, shoulders being stretched back, heart expanding. Perhaps a moment with a twist, one hand releases, swings out in front of you, 
can use that hand or finger out in front of you to help you twist. And then that hand returns to the foot, switch out the twist. Good. Once more each side here. And after the second one, completely release the right leg. Start to wind it again. And left takes its turn, rotating behind, bending the knee. Maybe just left hand grabs on, or maybe right also. Same options. Do you want to go for the quad by coming close to the feet? Do you want to go for the heart opener, pushing the foot into the hand? Maybe that same twist, one hand releases, swings around in front to help your body rotate into the twist. And then go through that whole circle to return the hand to the foot. Second hand releases, that same rotation. Okay, so you've got two full rounds of that to each side. Finish this foot wrap. If you want a little bit more time here, you can start a little bit longer just to draw. If you're at that spot where you want to come out, the bowl of pressure feel free to come right on out. Any other variations as well, they're all welcome. Eventually, when you drop out, come to your recovery pose. Just our final poses, setting our body up towards Shavasana. Let yourself start off with a tall mountain pose, and then your shoulders roll forward, and you start to drop your weight into a nice forward fold. That same thing, but backwards, roll your spine up. Allow yourself to stack the low back, and then stack the middle back. Once you're back up with head stacked, roll the shoulders up to the ears, pull them back, and drop them down. So same thing again, shoulders start to curl forward, and then that drops us into the forward fold. Make sure you go all the way to the deepest spot, whatever that looks like today, and then roll all the way back up. Eventually shoulders come up to ears, roll back, and then drop it down. One more. Forward to drop to the forward hold. And up. Beautiful. Whole spine, shoulders, everything feeling more open. And so before we wrap up, let's take a nice little dragon stretch. So grabbing onto the front end of the fabric, wave it out, left and right. Mm -hmm. Got doubled. <laughs> okay, once we get in, elbows come inside. We're coming closer to the top edge of the mat. You could absolutely just lean forward, almost like cobra pose where we just leaning and arching the heart, that's fine. If you prefer the lunge, you can step one foot back. Personal preference, whatever's working to you. 
Make sure you're, you've got enough space for your lungs to still be breathing. We're not collapsing into such a deep stretch that, that that's taken away from us. Another inhale. Exhale, step up and back, slide the elbows in, roll the head around for a moment. Okay, second side, if you did the lunge, if you're leaning forward, Cobra, just same thing one more time. Exhale, begin to take your weight out of it. Switch the grip to hook the thumbs. And then take your normal five grips or so to get inside. And then we'll pop in for our Shavasana pose. Once you're here, it's all about the breath. So just let that breath take
Allow the inhales and the exhales to deepen. So the wiggles begin to come to the extremities. And gradually those wiggles come closer and closer toward the center. Actually, we're stretching the arms up overhead like we're waking up. And perhaps shoulders go right and left a few times. If you'd like fetal positions today, feel free to roll over to one side and the other. As we come toward this nice seated place, with the hands right in front of the heart, connecting back to this idea of the heart center and where we would like to focus with that. Internal focus this week, external focus, focus overall on connection, and letting this open heart lead us through this day and through this week. Let's allow ourselves to wrap up this wonderful time we got to share together with the sound of home. Oh. Deep inhale now. Oh. Thank you.